I woke up this morning not with the YouTube or Instagram, none of it. I was not in the mood. And I'm taking that energy and turning it into a video for you guys. This is one of those days where there's days you're not gonna wanna put the time in and we're putting the time in today. That's all I'm gonna say. We're gonna jump right into the thumbnail of the video because I already knew what the thumbnail was gonna be. We are saying goodbye to the bow tie. Not really, but yes. The time has finally come to say goodbye to the transmission on the truck. I have a transmission within the next couple of days that's supposed to be here, but the transmission with 200, a quarter of a million miles on the truck, the transmission is finally starting to go out and it's slipping a good bit, way more than I would like it to. It's been slipping for a long time, to be honest with you, but it's gotten to a point to where it's slipping way more than I would like it. And I know I either need to go ahead and get a transmission or I'm going to end up on the side of the road, then have to get a transmission. And I would rather not end up on the side of the road. And I told Philip first thing when I seen him at the gas station. Well, Philip's a cop now. I'm just kidding. He's we in the back. He's in the back still. Yeah. We support all law enforcement, EMTs, firefighters, rescue people. We support everybody up here. We just don't with Philip. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Philip. If you're watching this, we do with you. Leonard might not though. This body style is pretty known for having transmission problems to begin with, so I knew at some point I was going to have problems. You're normally, if you're going to have transmission problems, from what I'm told, it's within the first 100,000 miles, and then if you make it past 100,000 miles, you'll make it just about to 2 to 250, and I'm I'm at the 2. I'm Because I re-geared the truck and my speedometer's way off, my speedometer says 260 right now, so nothing is uh, broken under there. It still drives fine, but I'm just having to baby it at the moment, and I just I know within the next week or two, I'm, I'm going to be riding down the road, and it's just going to go, and I'm I'm gonna be stuck on it inevitably I'm just I'm sure that's how it's gonna go for me unfortunately I did want to show you guys we do have one of the rear traction bars put on now we did get the face plates put on both of them but we have one of the rear traction bars mounted under the truck now which is super exciting I don't know how I feel about the look of the traction bars on it in the back I mean I guess this isn't really the best spot to look at it but I don't know how I feel about the look I guess because I don't have the center caps and I don't have the matching ones up front I feel like this face plate looks a little bit off with the rest of the truck but I I think once I get the center caps and the other face plates on the front put on, it'll probably match a little bit better. See anything you like? Pumpkin suds. Pumpkin suds. It smells good. It smells like fresh pop. <laughs> <laughs> Off the top. <laughs> it actually smells really good. Fresh <sighs> fall time, baby. Mm. <laughs> Starbucks delight. Hey. Hi. Hi. Yeah, there's like 50 stickers in there. Can we slap some on the walls? Just put them. Brandon yeah. would love that. Oh, he would love it. Ceramic coat, detailing spray, soap, quick detailer. There's rubber, plastic guard. There's some like rubber refin like black plastic refinisher there's uh, air fresheners in here and Ooh. smell good mm, not bad not bad and there's a uh, hand sanitizer as well is that simple millions is a spicy luxury scent that evokes luxury kiwi kicking kiwi banana take you a swig like that. that one smells pretty good. Yeah, it does. Kiwi banana. Really? It's, it's funny. I, I build so many trucks out here. Nobody ever likes me to film their truck when it's when, they're not done. when it's here. Or no, just because everybody thinks it's dirty. So, and I guess everybody assumes that all the people are going to jump in the comments immediately and say, "Oh, the truck's dirty." And that Jake, the first time I ever met Jake, he was terrified about that. He just and I was like, "Dude, no, nobody's going to care." So we finished up this uh, this avalanche has been up here for like what? It seems like two weeks at this point. Um, we were having some issues getting the lift kit, but we got a nine inch FTS lift. Do you know what color the lift kit is? What color the powder coat was? It's some kind of like rainbow sparkle. You can see it a little bit in the reflection here. It's definitely not black, but it's like, it's almost like a dark blue with like a rainbow flake in it. It's a really nice color. It's something, not a color that we've ever done. And the whole lift kit is done. Upper control arms, all the cross members, everything that came from FTS has that same color on it. 24 by 12, what are these? 24, 12 Callies and some 37s on the Avalanche. Something a little bit different. We don't build stuff like this a lot. So I wanted to make sure to throw it on the channel before it leaves. I didn't get a chance to film it yesterday because I was kind of in a rush getting some things done, but wanted to make sure to show some love. He's going to be back in 500 miles for the retort. So we'll do another, uh, another little bit of filming with it when it gets back. But 
Prismatic Cosmos. That's the color. So I'll get some better clips before it leaves. But I, I actually, it's like I said, something a little bit different for you guys to see. My Avalanche fans out there, because I know there's some of you in the comments. I feel like I can't sit here and talk about. <laughs> uh, I can't sit here and talk about Simply Clean. And not shout out my dude from uh, Chattanooga Mobile Detailing. He sent a bunch of products too. So we got a bunch of new stuff to try up here at the shop. Even though they've been here, all the stuff's been here for a week and I still haven't cleaned my truck. But shout out to Chattanooga Mobile Detailing for showing love to the channel. And uh, he was such a nice dude. If you guys haven't seen the, uh, was it Atlanta Truck Fest I think the show was? Had a nice conversation with him, met him, super nice dude. Just trying to show love to the detailers out there. And I got Matt here too, so shout out to Matt. He's the guy that actually washes the truck, not me. Don't give up on you. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, what's up? Hey, do you guys do detailing? Uh, yeah, we're just looking to get done. Yeah, like like, de like detailed trucks? Is that the truck I need detailing? How much you guys charge? So, what kind of truck is it? It's, it's just it's a, it's a Chevy. Yeah, just a normal Chevy. Yeah, what you looking to get done? Well, like, how much you charge just to wash it? Just a basic detail, a full paint correction, ceramic coat. Like, what you looking to get done, man? Quick wash. Yeah, just quick inside and out. Just quick inside and out. It's got just like a little lip kit on it. Yeah, it's got a lip kit on it, but it's not that bad. Just, just a quick, what do you guys normally charge? Like, 40, 50 bucks? You guys do the inside of the wheels too? What about the lift kit? Yeah, just quick once over on the lift kit. How soon are you looking to get it done? Yeah, just I got a show that I'm supposed to be at in a couple hours. It, it doesn't need much. Just I can see what I can do. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, I'm usually about two or three weeks out. Yeah, we're good. My dad's paying for it. I'm just going to come drop it off. All right, here's the deal. My voice is gone. I slept an hour and a half last night. And I'm feeling rough. I'm just going to shout First of all, shout out to Albert and Justin for coming with me. I'm just going to roll the clips. That's all I'm going to say. Let's get this bread. That's crazy. Hey! <laughs> if I don't turn this into a video, we just came to the Falcons game. This was Albert Huggins, good friend of mine, customer at the shop. I just wanted to just show some love to Albert for letting us come out to the game and hang out with him, getting us the seats, letting us come hang out in the Delta Lounge afterwards, have some good food, some chicken wings. Just wanted to kind of throw this into the end of the video somewhere for, you know, allowing us to come to the game, come hang out on the field afterwards. It's just, it's, this whole YouTube journey has allowed me to meet so many people and just have so many crazy experiences. Shout out to Justin for, for tagging along with me. The, the freaking, you the goat. You already know. 2023 has been a crazy year and I just want to say that I, I love every single one of y'all that watched the videos and thank you. Let's get this bread, baby. Hey, can I get a quarter on some wheels tires? Is that I, what? I need some 26 by 14s on 35. 26 by 14s? Yeah. Bro. I'm not mad at you, bro. I, I, you can't give me a quarter? No, I'm not mad at you. You don't look busy, you're drinking water. You're drinking water. I'm not giving you a price off the tires. Call me on Monday. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh look at oh look at the not not the wrap on the coloring. Not the wrap on the coloring, not the color change. Look, look at it. Look, I need the look what we what we working with here. Got it on. Turn the lights on for him. What you get that shit? No. 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 Bro, what is that back there, bro? Bro, that's scary. It's too late for all that. Y'all, I'm gonna give y'all the honest, the honest. You guys know I, you guys know I'm a fat kid. I really, that's, that's all it is. We're on Fat Boy Vibes today. You know, you know I had, that's the only reason I came really. I'm trying chicken wings today. From the famous Magic City Kitchen. You good, you good. Show where we at. Show where we at. Where we at? 10 out yeah. of 10. Chicken wings. What else could you want? What? Nothing more. Baby, baby. That's what I'm talking about.